Here with head football coach Paul Winters for this week's locker room report. After an impressive 42-14 win over a solid Saginaw Valley State program, the expectations continue to ratchet up. What are some things that you and your staff are doing to keep the team level-headed and focused, the week-to-week approach that you always talk about? Well, I think having Ferris on the schedule probably takes care of that. This year's squad already has more takeaways than last season and is plus six in the turnover margin compared to minus nine last year. Uh, was that an emphasis in the off season? Did you guys talk about that? Well, I think that's part of the fundamentals, and we work on fundamentals pretty much every practice. And um, the defense does a takeaway circuit, and I think they've done a fantastic job of, of just getting a mindset that we're going to try to take the ball away. And I think part of that um, that margin is the fact that we're turning the ball over less on offense. You have experience this season going on the road against a ranked team early in the season. Talk about what you guys learned uh, at Ashland and, and what you took away from that game. Well, I think um, we learned the emotion part of it. Um, the home team's going to have emotion, and they're going to, you know, um, they're going to spike when, when they do things well, and you just have to play through it. I think um, as we, we played against Ashland, um, the emotion of that game, when there was a turning point where they got the uh, two points and we didn't on the extra point, changed the game. And I think that we learned that you have to play through that. That's not a big deal. It's still a four-point game. Let's go play. Talk about what fans can expect if they're going to the game in Big Rapids. What are they, what are they going to see from Ferris State? What do they do well? And, and hit a few keys to victory on Saturday. Um, you're going to see a heck of a football team. They, um, they're big, they're strong, they're athletic. Uh, their quarterback is extremely fast. They have really good skilled kids on offense. Um, they have good secondary. Uh, I, I think that they're a complete football team. And, and what you're going to see is a battle uh, of two really good football teams, two of the best teams really in the country. And, uh, you know, you're going to see a Wayne State football team that we think is pretty good, too. All right, thanks for the time, Coach. All right, thank you.